We're here at Century Stereo in one of the sound rooms installing an SC600 IW subwoofer. After unpacking your SC600 IW, make sure you have your quick installation guide in your hands so you can walk you through installing the subwoofer. First thing you need to do is collect all the tools you'll need. You'll need, of course, wire prep tools. You'll need a fish to pull the wire through the wall at the position you place the subwoofer. And you'll need a screwdriver, a drywall saw, maybe a, a utility knife for cutting the drywall. Both work well. You won't need a sawzall. But on the other hand, you will need some other tools such as uh, some tape, measuring tape, a level, and you might need a square. You'll also need a stud sensor, of course. Now with an in-wall subwoofer, it's very similar to an in-room subwoofer. However, you lean it up against the wall. You can move it around the room and listen at your listening position to see where the best position is. You're looking for a position with two studs that you can cut a hole in between to install it, but you don't want that hole to be in a panel where there's power or a light switch due to the conduit that runs in the panel. In this room, we found this position in the corner to be the best. Now that you've found the proper place for your subwoofer, it's time to measure the wire length that you need to run in the path that you want to run to it. Sometimes it's over the ceiling, down through the wall, sometimes under the floor. Be sure and look out for any fire breaks that might be in the wall and run your wire. So now what we did is we used our stud sensor to find where our stud sensors were and mark them. We measured to the center between them and set up our template on that center line. We also used our level to make sure that it was level and square and taped the template to the wall for cutting. Cutting the hole is actually easy. You can either use a utility knife or a drywall saw. You don't need anything as heavy duty as a sawzall. Wait a minute, we need our safety glasses. That was close. Let's start cutting. Now have your hole cut for your SC600 IW. And you can finish pulling your wire down so that you can hook it up. One of the first things you probably want to do is take your SC600 and test fit it into the hole. If it's a little loose, we've included some foam pieces to put on the sides so that it fits better into the hole and you don't get any buzzing and rattling and performance later on. Next, hook up your wire. You might want to put a little bend in it so it goes into the terminal a little easier. Black to black and red to red. Now, you place it into the wall. Be sure the dogs are down so that they don't keep you from being able to put it in. Now, you'll tighten up the dogs or clamps using the three screws at the top and three screws at the bottom of the SC600IW. You can use a drill, you can use a hand screwdriver, just don't over tighten them. We recommend you start at the top and alternate top to bottom. To finish the rigid installation of your SC600 IW, you want to take one of the four wood screws supplied with the SC600 to attach it to the stud and screw it in to the angled hole through the side into the stud. Repeat with the other three. Next, you can match the color of the bezel to the wall by taking the included paint template and putting it into the grill groove and then painting over the face of the speaker. You can also color the, the grill in the same way. You don't need the paint template, just paint the grill. Lastly, audition the speaker to make sure that it sounds good if you find there are any buzzes or rattles, then go back and adjust. Then when you've got it finally set up and it sounds good, you can put the grill on and you're done.